Welcome to Teamhood. I will show you how to quickly get started. After creating your first workspace, you will see workspace menu on the left and work view on the right. Now we're looking at the most important view, the Kanban board. You can have more than one board in each workspace to maintain convenient work item grouping. Each board contains of columns, rows and items. Columns usually represent work statuses or process steps, just like in here, to do, doing and done. Rows allow you to group work items into meaningful categories, like projects, project phases or iterations. Just in here, I have two projects, Project Mars and Project Moon. And the most important citizens in Teamhood are item cards. Those can be used to describe tasks, assignments, appointments or project related work. You can delegate work by assigning items to your team members. You can collaborate with your team by writing comments or attaching important documentation. What's best is that you can further break down your work by simply creating sub items or child tasks as we call them. When you move, you can expand those child items and work on them separately also by defining due dates, assigning to people, or pro providing further information. When all of them are done, you can say that your top-level work item card is completed. This is how work gets finished in Teamhood. That is it for now. Watch other videos to learn more.